and they get a taste of what it's like to put together a big shoot like this. I mean, this is something that Rochester's never seen before. We're just days away from the filming of a major motion picture right here in the city of Rochester. Good evening and thank you for joining us tonight. Good to be with you, I'm Don Hudson. Now this has been one of the most talked about stories ever since we first learned about it. And on Tuesday, production crews will begin filming a chase scene right here in downtown Rochester. We know it's interesting, we know it's exciting, but we wanted to know how the city is preparing for its big screen debut, what the road closures are going to mean for businesses, what they're going to mean to motorists. Manish Shivari has been asking those questions and getting answers. He joins us now live in the studio with what she found out, Amanda. Well, Don, we found out that the production crews here, those stunt cars are sitting in a parking lot downtown and they're ready to go. And if you were on Main Street in Rochester today and paying close attention, you may have noticed a few things are different. Well, I mean, we came downtown to see if we could see any production happening and see if anybody's setting anything up. It might not look like it now, but in 48 hours, Main Street in Rochester will be transformed as the backdrop for a high-speed chase in the upcoming movie, The Amazing Spider-Man 2. Kevin Lamarck is a film professor at RIT and says you can see the little ways the city is already getting ready. We noticed a few things. Uh, street signs are gone. Um, saw some production crews out walking around, scoping the place out. The production crew wouldn't talk to us on camera, but did tell me they're checking out the area for this week's shoots, and they plan on doing a rehearsal tomorrow. You can also see a number of the cars that will be used in the scene across the street from the public safety building downtown. As we've reported, part of Main Street will be closed for the filming, and we asked what that means for businesses along the stretch. The production company that's producing this film has, has now had contact with all of the businesses along Main Street and have offered to, to help them out. So if they're going to get hurt by this, they've offered to help them out. I'm sure that some people will be inconvenienced, but we're very excited. I mean, for us to be um, on the spotlight in this manner, um, major motion picture coming to Rochester, it really puts us on the map. So we're very proud, we're very pleased, and we're looking forward to assisting them in this production. And Lamarck says this major motion picture could open up Rochester to future projects. From what we've been able to find out, everything's gone very smoothly, and I think that this will go well with the future productions coming here, that people are going to see that Rochester is a very open town to doing these kinds of things. Again, the filming will be closing down some streets, and here at News 10 NBC, we will show you the changes to the street closings every night to help you navigate downtown for the next day. And a heads up for anyone who rides those RTS buses and students who transfer downtown, those routes are changing also. And you can see the new maps for buses at WHC.com. Just click on the Spider-Man 2 story. Amanda Shivari, News 10 NBC.